Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to test the glow plug relay on a Ford 73 Power Stroke diesel engine and replace it with a White Rogers Monster glow plug relay. This replaces a common failure point and should provide more power to the glow plugs, which will help with cold starts. I'm working today on my Ford E350 Econo line, and on these vans, it's possible to come in from the front or the back to do this job. Now, I chose to come in from the doghouse, and I did this at the same time as my fuel filter. So if you want to see how I accessed it, go ahead and watch the video on fuel filter replacement. I show a brief recap in this video, but if you want to see all the details, head on over there. Stick around, and we'll show you how it's done. So unlike a gas engine, diesel engines don't have spark plugs. Instead, they have a glow plug, which is basically just a little heating element that helps the cylinder warm up and combust, uh, and it fires just on compression. Those glow plugs receive their power through a relay, and that relay is a pretty common failure point. It can deteriorate over time and not pass enough juice onto the glow plugs, and it can fail entirely, and then the van's gonna be really hard to start. So I'm gonna check my glow plug relay and see what we're getting in terms of power to our glow plugs. The glow plug relay is gonna be behind the alternator on the passenger side of the van. I'm coming in from under the hood, and if we look behind the alternator, we can see this relay right here, and this terminal on this side, here is positive power coming in from the battery. That should always have power. This one here is power out from the relay. And so this one should only have power, or should always have power, and this one should turn on when we turn the key and we get that wait to start light. I've got my multimeter here, and I've got the negative on our negative terminal of the battery. I'm gonna take the positive to this terminal, and we've got 12.61 volts, which is almost the same as we have right at the battery. I've got the positive probe on my multimeter on that glow plug side of the relay, and I'm going to go turn the key and see what happens. So we heard a clunk when the relay kicked on, and we're seeing 10.7, 10.8 volts. So it's pretty low, but the relay is given power, and there it shut off. When I turned the key and got the wait to start light, we saw 10.8 volts on the multimeter, and I was seeing about 11.2, 11.1 on the battery side uh, on my onboard gauge. So we know that glow plug relay is working, but it's not transferring all of the power from the battery, so there is some drop. I've read that a difference of 0.2 volts between the battery side and the glow plug side is indicative of the contacts burning and wearing out. I'm gonna change it out for a White Rogers. This is a much larger relay. It's gonna transfer more power. And then I'm gonna keep my old one as a spare just in case. It's possible to access the glow plug relay from under the hood by removing the air intake, or you can access it by removing the doghouse, the shield over the turbo, and the resonator. I chose to go in from the back because I was replacing my fuel filter at the same time and I just felt like it would give me better access. My van also has a custom air intake and it's really difficult to remove. I showed the entire process of accessing this from the back in my other video on the fuel filter replacement. So check that out if you want to see how I got to the glow plug relay from the back. We'll skip ahead to the glow plug relay replacement here. Now you can see I've got way better access to my fuel bowl and my glow plug relay here. So this is gonna be a relatively easy job after all. Looking down on the glow plug relay from the back, it has two large terminals. The one on the right is power coming in from the battery. The one on the left is the power going out to the glow plugs. There's no polarity on these apparently. The smaller wires are the electromagnetic coil actuators and there's no polarity on those either. Regardless, I'm gonna wire in the new monster relay with the same configuration as it was on the old relay. The new one's going to go right in that same place. It's going to be on its side. Before I work on this glow plug relay, I'm going to disconnect the batteries. This one's a little more difficult. I've got both batteries disconnected. I'm going to clean up the connections with deoxit before I take them apart. And then I'll do it again when I put them back on. That way the mechanical motion of Disconnecting them cleans up the contacts a little bit. And I'm going to start by unbolting 
the old relay with these two bolts here and here. I was able to get those loose with a 10 mil socket. And here's the new one. It is closer to the camera, but it is that much bigger. Here's my old glow plug relay and the new Stankor White Rogers relay. It's a much easier relay. I'm gonna put a little dielectric on each of these terminals. All right, just gotta get these wired up and we'll be all done. And there we have it all wired up, ready to go. So I'm not seeing a huge difference in the amount of power lost over this relay versus the old one, but I think that's mostly accounted for by my onboard meter not being super accurate. My old relay was working okay. I just wanted to do this before the van left me stranded somewhere in the cold. I didn't measure amps to the glow plugs, but it does seem like this is pulling a lot more juice off the batteries than the old relay was. And let's see how the van starts. Over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing a coolant drain and flush. I'm going to be replacing the mirrors, and I'm going to be replacing the door speakers. So stay tuned, and we'll keep you updated as the build progresses.